Hey guys, gonna show you my remote controlled uh, 1976 Gran Torino. Um, we're gonna start off by showing you some driving footage and then I'm gonna show you the unboxing of this very rare RC car. Hey guys, check out this holy grail find of mine. I've been looking for this thing for over three years and I found it in mint condition. This has never been opened, or at least I think. I mean, there's some uh, weird looking tape here which looks kind of sketchy, but I don't care. All I want is this uh, body. This is um, made by Planet Toys, made in 2006. And this particular one, it's a Donk RC. And this is not for sale, by the way, because I'm keeping this for sure. But yeah, it's, this one is based on a uh, 1976 Ford Torino, and it looks more like a Cougar to me, but uh, I think it could be modded to look more like a, an actual proper Ford Torino. And it's part of the, the RIMS series. RIMS. All about the RIMS. So we are going to open this, and I just want to show you the box. And I know, because I'm recording um, reverse, it, it also changes the, uh, it also flips the, the lettering around. Sorry about that. But official Ford product, officially licensed by Ford. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Let's start with this sketchy side. See where this tape is really sketchy here? Where it looks like it's been open before, but it's been torn. I don't know. It might be legit, but we're going to cut it open anyways. And there's more tape here. And unboxing this beauty is a real pleasure for me. And there's also more tape on the top. But I want to unbox this so I can start driving it and also to uh, get the measurements. Alright, so this is open now. You can see that the front grille of the uh, Torino. That's pretty accurate, I think. Lots of tape here, holy cow. But let's go and pop this out of the box. And I already took pictures of the box from all angles, so I'm okay doing this. I said it's stuck on something. I don't know why it's not coming out. Oops, I tore it. Let it be known for the records, I tore it right here. Because this is not coming out for some reason. I don't know why it's not coming out. Okay, let it be known for the record, I tore the box up here too. I tore this part too. Right here? Why is it not coming out? Alright, hold on. And it's coming out by holding this uh, bar here. Now it's coming out. All right, so I'm gonna have a hard time with this one. Look at all of the uh, defensive uh, measures on this. Look at that, I gotta cut through all that. I, mean, I can un untwist them too, see what the back looks like. There's more crap on the back too. And that's all I see for now. But I need to touch this. I've waited so long, it's a little dusty on top for some reason. But it's, Mainly clean though. You can see a little Gran Torino sticker right there. Uh, a sticker for this uh, art. You can see the remote down here. See, I, when I heard about this, I was, I've been looking for the Ford Torino, but then I heard about the Buick Regal. 
So I started looking for that too, but I was mainly interested in finding this uh, this Ford Torino. Uh, should I fill this out? Wait, the stop. Do not return to store. We can help. Uh, so nothing really crazy here. Just trying to document everything as I take him out. So let's get to work on taking this baby out. And I think uh, it, it's not so crazy. On the back, I can just twist these off. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, hold on, this tape's in the way. One down. So yeah, then he goes nuts on this back here. Just wanna, oh, this one's kind of weird. But yeah, when I, whenever I make these videos, the way I make it is I'll I'll record the unboxing, but I won't show the unboxing in my video until the last part because a lot of people might find it boring. That's why I post the driving footage first, even though I, I do the driving footage last, obviously. Let's go and get this bottom off. Look how many there are. Now, these are a lot more intense. I think for these, I might have to just cut through them, but I'll try not to. Yep, I'm going to cut through them. There you go. Jeez Louise. Let's take this tape off. It's just holding everything back here. Look at this tape from 2006, guys. It's all historical, guys. All historical. I want to say some of this, but I can use this these wires for another project of mine. I can feel that the, the car's already loose right now. So I think I've done a good job with this. Okay. You can put way too much crap onto this. Like this wire is wrapped around the tire right now. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, they're all wrapped around the... There you go, it's gonna force it out. This thing is really robust, this car, I can tell. As I pick it up. There you go. Ooh, I, this one's in pretty good shape, I can use that. Oh my gosh, come off of it, man. Come off of it. Okay, now it's tied on the side still. Honestly, I'm surprised I didn't break it already. See all these, how the wires are wrapped around everything? Let it be known for the records, the historical records, that they went way too far in tying these up all around the car. It should have just been here to secure the car, not wrap itself around the, the wheels and stuff. <laughs> I'm not pulling the antenna. Here's the antenna, so never mind. I'm gonna get this off of the uh, the wheels here. It's, it's, it's like wrapped. It's wrapped like this around the wheels. Here's the problem: it's, like, it's wrapped like this around the wheel, and it's hard to get off. You can't just pull it off because it'll just turn as you turn. Okay, that one came off. I guess there was a technique to it. All right, there's another one right here. This one's easy. Just wow. So here's the car. Um, we'll talk about this in a second. Let me get the remote out. Got a pistol remote. Ooh, that feels kind of cheap actually. Uh, there should be an antenna in here somewhere. Look at that, it's nothing but wires, wires. Now, this is odd. Look at the inside. See if I lift it, there's like layers upon layers of crap inside. It's like when you open up a Kit Kat, that waffle. Okay, there should be batteries in here, I think. I guess I'm gonna have to tear it open. It is pretty heavy, so there must be something else. I just don't see where it is. I 
Okay, let's open this back part. I think that'll reveal a lot. Aha! Wait. I think there'd be something right here. Okay, here, okay, here you go. Here we go. This is a huge mess. I guess people back in 2006, they, they were a lot more used to this kind of crap. Okay, but here's, here's what I'm trying to get to. See this? Here's the battery. Let me just try to take it out before I destroy this box even more. There's also, a, I think this is a charger here. But apparently everything I need to run this car is inside this box. Here's the charger. Here's the 9 volts. Oh, here's, here's the antenna for the remote. And here is the, uh, the 9.6 battery for the car chassis. And here is the 9 volt battery for the remote. Oh yeah, it feels a lot lighter now. There should be nothing on this side. No, nope, nothing on that side. Cool! Gonna put this antenna in here. And it's got the uh, on and off switch right here. This extends out. And here's where the battery goes. You gotta unscrew that. And then obviously this nine volt, this nine volt battery is gonna go in there. I feel bad about using these nine volt batteries that have been in these boxes for like 10, 11 years. I feel like it's a piece of history, but I'm still gonna use it, I don't care. But that's what that is. And in case you didn't see it, this is what the uh, 9.6 V battery looks like. It's got rims written on it. On the back. All right, here's the charger for it. In case you're wondering what it looks like. Okay, now let's go look at the car, finally. It is huge. But I feel like a lot of that hugeness is because of the chassis. This thing's ridiculous. But if I take the, the body off, I, I think the body's gonna be more like 110 scale, I think. I'll, I'll do measurements here in a second. Oh man. This thing is gorgeous. I'm going to uh, to film it driving, of course, in its stock form. Um, but yeah, this is definitely gonna be used for a future project. And let me show you the measurements because I've always wanted to know what the measurements are. As I said, it looks 110 scale if you uh, disregard the, the chassis, which makes it look a lot bigger. So let's do the wheelbase here. First, in inches, looks to be about 10 and a half inches. That's a rough estimate. It's about 10 and a half inches though, for the wheelbase. Let's go look at the, the width. I would say the wheel, the width is, let's see, that looks semi-accurate. It's gonna be seven and a half inches for the width. Now the length of the car, we're gonna go all the way from the back bumper to the front fender here. It's about nine, a little, a little more than 19 inches. Not quite 19 and a half inches for the length. So those are the dimensions. And uh, just for funsies, not, not that this will affect my project, but let me see the height of this thing. Let's see, the height with the, uh, the dunk chassis, it's about, it's almost nine inches. Might be, I can't tell. It looks to be about nine inches for the the, the height of this thing. <laughs> oh, I am so excited! I seriously, I've been looking for this thing like three or four years. Like I would say, this is probably the rarest RC car because if there's other rare RC cars like the Snoop Deville. With the Snoop Deville, it's it's not really that rare. You'll see you'll see them go on sale every so often, but they're really expensive, like two hundred, three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks. Um, also, the uh, the new bright police interceptor car, which which it's that's pretty rare, uh, but you still see those pop up every so often. But this car, this uh, Rims Ford Torino series, uh, it's never showed up. It's never popped up. I've never seen it pop up in the last three or four years. So when I saw this in a box, I didn't really care what the price was. I snatched it up and. Uh, it was a pretty penny, but I think the uh, the ends will justify the means here. <laughs>